January 11, 2003, Illinois Gov. George Ryan commutes the death sentences of 167 prisoners on the state's death row in the wake of allegations that Chicago Police Detective and Commander John Burge tortured confessions from some 200 suspects over a 19-year period. January 11, 1994, the Irish government announces an end to a 15-year ban on broadcasting by the IRA in its political branch, Sinn Féin. January 11, 1964, a collection of previously unexhibited paintings by Pablo Picasso are displayed for the first time in Toronto. January 11, 1952, Ben Crenshaw, pro golfer, nicknamed Gentle Ben, he won the Masters Tournament in 1984 and 1995 was born. January 11, 1949, negotiations in China between the nationalists and communists open as Tinsen is virtually lost to the communists. January 11, 1948, President Harry S. Truman proposes free two-year community colleges for all who want an education. January 11, 1943, the Soviet Red Army encircles Stalingrad. January 11, 1942, Japan invades the Dutch East Indies at Borneo. January 11, 1941, Adolf Hitler orders forces to be prepared to enter North Africa to assist the Italian effort, marking the establishment of the Africa Corps. January 11, 1940, Benjamin O. Davis, Sr. becomes the U.S. Army's first black general. His son would later become a general as well. January 11, 1934, the German police raid the homes of dissident clergy in Berlin. January 11, 1931, Rod Taylor, actor of The Birds, was born. January 11, 1923, the French enter the town of Essen in the Ruhr Valley to extract Germany's resources as war payment. January 11, 1916, Russian General Yudinich launches a World War I winter offensive and advances west. January 11, 1904, British troops massacre 1,000 dervishes in Somaliland. January 11, 1903, Alan Patton, South African novelist, his famous novel Cry, the beloved country was born January 11, 1887, at Fort Smith, Arkansas. Hangman George Maladin dispatches four victims in a multiple hanging. January 11, 1864, H. George Selfridge, founder of Selfridge & Co., led, who coined the phrase, the customer is always right, was born. January 11, 1862, Lincoln accepts Simon Cameron's resignation as Secretary of War. January 11, 1861, Alabama secedes from the Union. January 11, 1843, Francis Scott Key, author of The Star-Spangled Banner, dies in Baltimore. January 11, 1757, Alexander Hamilton, first U.S. Secretary of Treasury, killed in a duel with Aaron Burr. January 49, Julius Caesar leads his army across the Rubicon River, plunging Rome into civil war.